One way you can organize your ideas in a paragraph is spatial order. By the end of this video, you should be able to answer the following questions. What is spatial order? When should you use spatial order? How do you write using spatial order? And what does spatial order look like? Let's begin by defining spatial order. So what is spatial order? Well, this is location order. Spatial order is when you describe things as a sequence of placement of where they are, what they look like, how big or small they are. Spatial order is really good for describing a place. So when would you use spatial order? Well, in various career fields, spatial order is used all the time. A realtor would use spatial order to describe a house that's for sale when writing up the advertisement for the house. A police officer would use spatial order when describing a crime scene. A nurse or medical assistant might use spatial order when documenting a medical record to describe a wound or a rash on a patient. A sketch artist would need to rely on a victim's use of spatial order to create a sketch of a criminal or a suspect. And a sales manager would need to use spatial order to describe what a display window should look like. So how do you write using spatial order? When you begin any writing task, you should begin by pre-writing. Pre-writing is generating ideas before you write so that you have an idea of what it is you want to discuss before you reach the drafting stage. If you know you're going to be using spatial order in your writing, think about that as you're pre-writing. Think of the locations, placements, and details of whatever it is that you are describing. Keep asking yourself, what does it look like? That will help you come up with lots of ideas to use in your writing. It's also a good idea to pre-write each item separately or each place or detail within whatever it is you're describing separately so that you have a lot to go on when you begin drafting. When using spatial order, you need to use transitions. As a review, transitions are words or phrases that connect to ideas, sentences, or paragraphs, and they help your writing flow smoothly. They help guide the reader from detail to detail and also help keep you as the writer on track with what you're writing. Some examples of transitions that are used in spatial order include right and left, top and bottom, above and below, near and far, middle, side, or center, background or foreground, here and there, and across, opposite, and beyond. So let's look at an example of a paragraph written in spatial order and try to identify the transitions that are used to help us realize that, we're just, that the writer is describing what something looks like. The inside of Bill's refrigerator was horrible. That's our topic sentence. So the rest of the paragraph will describe why the inside of Bill's refrigerator is so horrible. On the top shelf, there was a three-week-old carton of milk. So now we're getting this beginning of an image of pic picturing the inside of Bill's refrigerator. The transition on the, top shelf, on the top shelf tells us where exactly in the refrigerator this description is going to start. Then we have, next to it sat a slice of melon that had started to get moldy, and to the right of that melon sat the remains of a macaroni and cheese dinner that had been served a week earlier. So now we have a clear picture of the top shelf of Bill's refrigerator. We have an old carton of milk, an old slice of melon next to the carton of milk, and then some old macaroni and cheese dinner to the right of the melon. Then the paragraph continues. On the shelf below was a slice of cake from his sister's birthday party. And the transition on the shelf below signals the reader that the writer is done describing the top shelf and is now moving on to describing the next shelf. And then our paragraph concludes, though there was food, none of it was edible. So as you can see from this example, the transitions are really important in spatial order to help your reader imagine or picture what it is that you're describing. In summary, when you're writing in spatial order, you need to consider that you're describing a place and that you're using it in something appropriately to describe the way something looks, and that you're especially paying attention to the location or placement of the details within your description. Transitions will help the reader understand and be able to picture what it is you're describing.